So first, let's look at why we call these seventh chords. Remember that we refer to the names of these notes, the numbers we use, are in relation to the chord, are always the root, the third, and the fifth, because that's their scale degree um, when we start. And then even here, we call it a root, third, and a fifth for the chord. So remember, we're going up every other note. Let's look at our keyboard real quick here. So on this C, if we laid out the C major scale again, which is all the white notes to here, we would build this first chord by going every other note, the root, the third, and the fifth. So here's the second. So root, second, third, fourth, fifth. And if we kept going up another level, we would skip the sixth and add the seventh. And that's why we call these seventh chords, because that's the note we're going to add. So we're going to go every other note up to the fifth, and then we're going to go one more. That's all. That's all we're doing is we're just going to go one more. Um, but it adds an interesting little wrinkle. So let's just do it. I can easily make turn my diatonic chord progression here into all seventh chords by just adding another third on top. Okay, there we go. Now we have a diatonic chord progression in the key of C major with seventh chords. Now, what do we call these things? Before we had seventh chords, remember that we decided if our triads were major or minor based on the first third and the second third, right? But now we have another third. So things get a little more complicated. So it ends up that we have four possibilities, and they are um, a major triad, like we have here, with a major seventh at the top. So a major triad at the top. That's option one. That's called a major seventh chord. We're, we're going to go into more. Uh, we're going to go into more detail on all of these uh, in the subsequent videos. I just want to introduce them. So. The other, another option is a minor triad, like we have here, with a minor third on the top. That's called a minor seventh chord, okay? Here we have another minor seventh chord. Here we have another major seventh chord, a major triad with a major seventh at the top. So this is called a major seventh chord. Here we have kind of the oddball, this is a major triad with a minor seventh on the top. We call this a dominant seventh chord. We're going to look more at that in just a minute. Here we have a minor seventh or a minor chord with a minor seventh at the top, so another minor seventh chord. And here we have our diminished chord with another or with a major seventh on the top. This gets a special term because it's a diminished chord. So we're going to talk about that one a little bit later. But for now, let's just call it a diminished seventh chord because that's what it is. And then we have another major seventh chord here, the same as down here. Now there's one I didn't talk about, right? I only talked about three. The three I talked about were the major seventh, the minor seventh, and the dominant seventh. The other one would be a minor triad with a major seventh at the top. And that one isn't going to concern us a lot right now. What we call that is a minor major seventh. It's a total weird term. But it doesn't occur um, in the diatonic chord progression in a major key. It does in a minor key. So we'll address it when we get to minor keys. But um, it's not exactly a lovely sound. So it's kind of like that augmented chord. We don't uh, deal with it a lot. So let's cross that bridge when we get to the other ones. For now, I want to focus on the uh, these three, the major seventh, the minor seventh, and the dominant seventh. So first, let's look at major seventh chords. Um, and I'm going to use one of my all-time favorite examples of a song with a major seventh chord in it. Uh, let's jump to a new video for that and talk about a major seventh chord.